Hey YouTube, Tammy Husband. I like cards. I collect cards. I know I've been away for a while. Um, life has decided to take a crap on my chest lately, but that seems to have passed for now. So I've got a veritable shit ton of cards to show you today. So this video is probably going to run a little long. So just bear with me and enjoy all the cardboard. Thanks. All right. Let's start off with finally revealing the completed Craftsman set. All right. I'm going to try to whip through these as quick as possible. Remember, they are all numbered 250. Michael Turner. Vincent Jackson. Rogers. Andre Johnson. Antonio Gates. Calvin Johnson. Carson Palmer. Darren McFadden. David Garrard. Devery Henderson. Devin Hester. Drew Brees. Heath Miller. Jamal Charles. Jason Witten. Jeremy Macklin. Joe Flacco. Lee Evans. Matt Schwabby. Mike Wallace. I'm Ed Bradley. This is 60 Minutes. Peyton Manning. Sam Bradford. Antonio Holmes, Stephen Jackson, and the final piece to the puzzle that took me forever and a day to find, and is barely a patch. I mean, barely. I mean, you couldn't get any less patch on here that is required by law to be a patch. Braylon Edwards. And there's there's the little little tiny fleck of green that makes it prime. Good job, Panini. All right, enough of that nonsense. Um, what's next? I did a I did a couple box breaks a few weeks ago. Um, one was to get a Pete Rose auto. It was a twenty dollar box, so I'm like, yeah, twenty bucks is enough to get a Pete Rose auto. So I got that guy, and then I broke a box of 2012 rookies and stars. And at first, I thought I was going to become a member of this this Shank Incorporated. I usually do when I break boxes lately. That's why I don't do it as much. Got an Andre Branch rookie card, an Isaiah Pede rookie card, auto, a one color jersey swatch of Mark Sanchez, and what made it a palatable break for me was I got somebody for the PC. I mean, he's not playing or anything, I mean, he got injured, but hopefully when he comes back, he'll be good. Nick Perry. For the Packers, linebacker. Oh, what do we got next here? It's just some random football pickups. Um, well, not random. Two of them are for PC. But I was able to get a pretty good cheap price on this Dick Knight Train Lane. Didn't have a card of him for the Legends, and that one is numbered 15 out of 15 out of Momentum. Um, for my Legends slash unofficial Colts PC on card auto of the edge that one's numbered out of 25 lighting sucks as usual um, for the Packer PC as you all know this is my all time favorite Packer picked up just a couple insert cards of Reggie White this one's out of Pacific it's cool metally looking scorecard jobber Wow, did I just Wisconsinize myself there? Jobber. Um, and then out of playoff, I got this awesome leather bound card. 
that's pretty neat. Oh, what else? Out of for my Nicktoon PC, I haven't been getting a lot of Nicktoon stuff because I've just been honestly forgetting about him since he's not on the field doing anything. Nicktoon. Um, my other rookie PC guy, he's also not doing anything because he's also injured all the time. Got some more Fleeners. Um, this guy just came in today out of Topps Chrome. This is the Camo Chrome Auto. I don't know if you can see the camo or not. And then out of Rookies and Stars, numbered out of 499. Single color jersey auto. Uh, some more inceptions. I got this jumbo green patch out of 25. It's so hard to keep track of all these freaking rainbows. Um, and then this is the gold version of the patch auto, numbered out of 75. And then out of tops, we got these awesome, I love these cards. It's the 85, I think it's the 85 reprint. Correct me if I'm wrong, with the auto on it. Numbered out of 100. And then I saw these cards being shown by Sictifer, and I'm like, God, I gotta get the fleener of this one. So this is the, I think the standard version, the green, the Leaf Valiant. It's the only one I can afford right now because once you start getting to the different colors, man, those prices sure shoot the hell up. All right, next up, an update on the Back to the Future set. Um, just to kind of recap where I'm at. It started off with this single colored Sterling Sharp. And then I picked up the Mark Carrier. And then Squally Wally was nice enough to send me two he had laying around in his set, which are just freaking still beautiful. This two color Buck Buchanan. And the three color Greasy. Greasy, Greasy. So I started pick. I've kind of hit a stalemate with these, so I haven't picked up any in a while because some of them are just ridiculously hard to find or ridiculously overpriced. The most ridiculously overpriced one I've seen so far is Don Meredith. I mean, I know his stuff is rare, but sorry, I'm not paying 50 and upwards for one. And for some reason, the Steve Young is only numbered out of 13. So to say that one has been hard to find would be an understatement because not only is it hard to find it's not findable I haven't found it anywhere so these first two are not actually a part of the patch set um, obviously they didn't have patches for them I guess so I just picked them up anyways just because I didn't have cards of them in my Legends Hall of Famer PC anyways so I just figured I'd pick them up because they look cool it's Otto Graham and Doak Walker. And then I got a one color Ted Hendricks. That's out of 99. Out of 49, like I said, the numbering's just off on all of these. Two color of the Rocket, Rajib Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Out of 99. Apologize if I'm butchering his name. Correct me if I'm wrong, John Fuqua. And a two color of Bob Hayes. This sickly awesome, freaking awesome. God, man, my words just are not flowing out of my mouth lately. Four color, Dan Fouts. Paint, paint, paint jersey. This awesome three color of George Blanda. This one was really hard to find. I haven't seen one since that looks this good. But this one's numbered out of 35. Doug Williams. And then out of 99. Prime time, baby. Can't do the dance. Yeah, there you go. Awesome three color. Did I just make a card dance? Jesus. 